from the beginning of the 1970, uh, the last uh, decade, uh, when the use of uh, this technology has reached uh, its maximum implementation, the approach has changed a lot. Uh, in particular, nowadays, uh, we talk about uh, uh, building integration photovoltaic uh, um, in acronymous BIPV, uh, and meaning uh, that the photovoltaic material uh, are used to replace conventional building materials uh, in part of the building envelope, such as uh, the roof, skylights or facade. Uh, the integration of uh, PV panel uh, in the buildings uh, can be considered uh, as uh, an architectural integration for new buildings uh, and the existing one. Uh, the, the PV panels uh, are increasingly being incorporated uh, to the construction of uh, new buildings uh, as a principal uh, or uh, ancillary source uh, of electrical power. The advantage uh, of integrated photovoltaic uh, are more common non-integrated system in that the initial cost can be offset by reducing the amount spent of building materials and labor that would normally be used to construction the part of the building that in a BIPV module replace. Due to geopolitical factors at international level, at the, the reducing of soil resources available during the last decade the price of the soil resources carbon oil and gas has increased uh, consequently today the use of um, uh, other kind of energy is economically, uh, economically suitable uh, the alternative proposed by the european commission uh, is the use of the so-called renewable energy um, also, uh, all over the world, like the solar electromagnetic radiation, which is transformed in electrical electricity through the photovoltaic phenomena is proposed by Einstein. These PV elements are similar to rigid panel with modular dimensions, offering the opportunity to add them in more and more configurations and a solution reaching a lower power as well as megawatt of peak. Today for one kilowatt uh, is necessary about eight square met meter of uh, modules surface. For example, if the plants are installed on the agricultural fields, then we use a precious territory. So, in a long period, they lost their environmental quality. Today, the largest energy consumer are the existing, existing buildings with uh, an energy impact, not only for internal needs, but uh, for the negative balance uh, and power lost uh, in the urban distribution grid, sometimes uh, and realized uh, with aluminium or copper material. So, it's an uh, natural to propose the integration of PV in building for the local energy production as recommended by European Commission with the Directive of Energy Distribution Management aiming for product electrical energy where it is necessary.